I'm going to show you how to cover a cape with royal icing. It's quite tricky to get the hang of royal icing, but it does give you a nice finish. It's um, fairly old fashioned, but I think coming back in, this cake is already in marzipan. So if you've seen the book, we talk about how to cover cakes in marzipan. With this one, because I want to get a nice straight edge and top, I've actually panelled it so I've cut a disc out on the top and then put a panel around the side so you can see we've got really nice square edges that's going to give me a better finish rather than a rounded one. So it's fairly similar to a buttercream technique but the um, icing dries really, really quickly. I've got a bowl of royal icing here and always keep a damp cloth over the top of that because it will skin over really, really quickly if you leave it exposed to air. And if you get crunchy bits in it, it's going to give you a, a bit of a rough finish. So I'm going to start by um, royal icing the side of the cake. So I'm going to use my um, palette knife, pretty, pretty essential really. And also for royal icing you will need these tools. Um, you will need a straight edge, um, stainless steel one here. And you'll also need a, a side scrape. So first of all, I'm going to generously apply the royal icing around the sides of my cake. It's fairly stiff. You want to get the consistency, kind of soft peak consistency. So I'm just going to go all the way around, fairly roughly to start with, just to kind of get an even layer. And uh, with my palette knife, I'm just working it so it's coming right to the bottom of the cake board, as you can see. So that's kind of completely covered now. So now I'm ready to use my side scraper. I'm going to cover that over now just because later on when I'm going to be doing the top, if I leave that exposed, I'm going to get all crunchy bits there, which is a nightmare. So I'm going to take my side scraper and hold it at a 45 degree angle. Again, I'm using, I'm going to come down at eye level and just drag this all the way round. Again, you really do need a turntable for this ideally. All the way round in one sweep. With the sharp knife, I'm just going to take off the excess around the top, just putting that back into the bowl. I'm just working away from, from myself there. There we go. So that's pretty good. With royal icing, you need to do it in stages. So now I'm going to leave this. What I'd normally do, I'd leave this now for a couple of hours just to skin over and set then I'd work on the top, so it's going to be nice and neat, it's going to be dry, do the top covering, leave that to set for a good couple of hours, then go back again over the sides, and you can build it up perhaps two, three, even four times, if you want a really perfect finish, just going over and over again, but for today I'm going to just go straight over on the top and show you how to do that part as well. I've cleaned off all my scrapers because you don't want any excess icing that will just drag on the, on the new coating. So I've got my royal icing here, I'm just going to start by, once you've got on enough, I'm going to start paddling it round in a side to side motion, which is just pushing that all out in a nice equal depth, all the way round. As I go round, it's bringing that royal icing out towards the edge of the cake, and it's really nice and level, nice and straight. There we go. So. Once you've paddled your royal icing onto the top, you need to take your straight edge, come down to eye level, hold your straight edge at a 45 degree angle, and just drag this all the way across in one motion. Take that away from the cake. Now, um, I'm just gonna go round the edge with my sharp knife just to take off the excess here all the way round just to get your excess icing off. So once you've done that, leave it to set for two to three hours and then start again with um, applying the icing around the side in the same way, leaving it going back until you're happy, you've got a nice coating that's nice and smooth. working it so it's coming right to the bottom of the cake board as you can see. So that's kind of completely covered now. So now I'm ready.